Okay, going to do a quick video on Sokotoa labeling the sides, and I don't need that little scratch mark, I just made so I'll erase it. Okay, cool. So, labeling the sides, what I mean by that is labeling the sides with O, H, and A. Now, hopefully, if you caught my instructions from the last video, you have the last video open on a split screen. So, you can still read the Sokotoa, and you can still read that H is hypotenuse, O is opposite to the angle, and A is adjacent, which means beside the angle but not the H, so it's the last side. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to label these. Now, what I do is I label from the angle. So this is the angle that I'm looking at here. It's 20 degrees. So I could say for this one that theta is equal to 20 degrees because, well, that's what theta is here. Okay, so what's O, H, and A? Well, first of all, I'm gonna label O. I almost always label O first. I go opposite to this angle. So right over there is O. Now, O, is that side x. Now label your h next, so label o, then label h. This is my hypotenuse, it's opposite to the right angle. And that leaves this to be my adjacent, so adjacent is the last side. Okay, so what have I got? I've got that theta is equal to 20, o is equal to x, h is equal to 10, and a is equal to y. Okay, so for this triangle, well, maybe I won't do it like that, I'll draw it like this. For this triangle, there is O, H, and A. Now, let's try the next one. Okay, so going from this angle, I don't know what this angle is. This angle is theta, so theta is still theta. I don't know what it is. I uh, probably will have to solve it. We'll get to there later. Okay, so label this sucker. Go from here, go across the triangle. Which side is opposite to theta? Well, this side is. So this side, 3, is opposite. 2 theta, which side's the hypotenuse, the longest side opposite to the right angle over here. So 5 is h. And you can see now why I label these on the inside. If it's on the inside, it's easier to see that 3 is o and 5 is h, and in this case, the last side, 4, adjacent side, adjacent side is 4. Okay, so o equals 3 h equals, well, what's h over here? Well, it's 5. The hypotenuse is 5. And a, the adjacent side, is equal to 4. Okay. Bam. Another one. Done. Okay, next one. So, label it. Now, again, if you are watching this at home, you could pause the video right now and you could work ahead of me. You could label this thing with O, H, and A. Now, remember, you should probably do this on a piece of paper. Don't write on your computer monitor. Uh, I hope I didn't need to say that. Okay, so labeling from this thing, go from the 35, go across the triangle to the opposite over here. This is the O, bam, this is the H, done, and the A is over here. What the? There's no A. Well, there's no A because they didn't give me the A, and they don't want to know the A because they don't have an X there, so I'm just going to leave A alone. So, theta equals 35 degrees. O equals 6, H equals X. So this question is asking me to solve for X using the 6 side, which is the O, and this is a little bit of a prelude. I'm going to undo that move that I just did there. Okay, this is a little bit of a prelude here, but with O and H, there's only one trig ratio that you can use. Do you think that it's sine, cos, or tan when you have O and H? That's right, it's sine, but that's the next video. We'll get there. Okay, so theta here. Theta from this side. Theta is the unknown. I'm going to label this. This is my O. I always go across, label that first. That's O. Here's my hypotenuse. Oh, this is the long side here. Again, I don't have an H there. An A is here, so the A is equal to 8. The O is equal to 12. Theta is equal to, I don't know, theta is just theta. A is equal to 8. O is equal to 12. Cool. So, that triangle's done too. Now, I've got an O side and I've got an A side. Guess which one I'm going to have to use here. So I can't use sine, it uses O and H. Can't use chi, it uses A and H. Which is the only one of these three that doesn't have an H side? It doesn't need an H side? Well, Toa. So I would use tan to solve for this one. Which we're going to get into in our next video. Now, unless you need more practice with this, if you need more practice with this, go to your practicing labeling the sides video. If you're good with labeling sides, then let's go on. 
you guys are now going to learn picking from sine, cos, or tan. Which equation do I use?